Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I want to speak to you today about biological age. In recent years, the concept of biological age has gained widespread attention, especially on social media. It's often presented as a magical metric that, if optimized, can extend one's life beyond the maximal age ceiling. However, this interpretation strays from the scientific understanding of potential of biological age. Biological age refers to the condition of our bodies relative to our chronological age. It's a measure of how well you're aging based on various health and lifestyle factors. If your biological age is lower than your chronological age, it indicates a healthier state, potentially leading to a longer health span. The portion of life spent in good health, free from chronic diseases. This is where the focus should be, enhancing the quality of life rather than fixating on extending life indefinitely. The idea that lowering your biological age can push you past the natural human lifespan limit is a clear misunderstanding. Lifespan, particularly the maximum lifespan, is determined by a complex interplay of genetic, environmental, and physiological factors. While adopting a healthy lifestyle can indeed improve your health span and may influence the rate at which you age, breaking to the human lifespan ceiling involves deeper biological interventions. Research, including studies on the compression of morbidity by James F. Fries and others, supports the idea that a healthy lifestyle can delay the onset of age-related diseases, thereby compressing time one spends dealing with morbidity and sickness into a shorter time frame towards the end of life. Yet, this doesn't imply that one can exceed the maximal age of human life. Furthermore, recent advancements in understanding how to potentially reverse biological aging to diet, lifestyle changes, and more offer promising insights into improving overall health and delaying chronic diseases. However, these should not be misconstrued as methods for surpassing the biological limits of human lifespan. In conclusion, while the concept of our biological age serves as a valuable tool for assessing and improving health and vitality, it's crucial to approach it with a clear understanding of its scope and limitations. Social media narratives that claim lowering your biological age is a key to eternal youth or surpassing the human lifespan limit are not only misleading, but also divert attention from the real benefits of maintaining younger biological age. A healthier, more vibrant life, regardless of years it spans. People are misinterpreting what biological age is. Just because you're 20 years, allegedly 20 years biologically younger, does not mean you're going to live to 140 or 150. You still need a strong, powerful body when you reach 100 years old. Okay. Reversing my life, like the Brian Johnsons of the world, among others, might do that on pace, I'm aging slower uh, than a 10 year old. It's nonsense. And I mean this with respect. Okay. Just because you have a younger biological age does not mean you break any longevity records. And that's a fact. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, exercise, eat right. Take the right supplements, sleep, all that good stuff. Concentrate on your health span, okay? Just because you, you lower your biological age one day, I'm sick one day, and my biological age is higher, and then suddenly I'm no, I no longer have a cold, and I'm suddenly younger? Come on. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Stay young, stay healthy. That's what I do. That's what I concentrate on. Have a great day.